London's Regent's Park, a cavalcade of veteran cycles. These are the bikes that Grandma used. The wheels have turned many times since then. Heading the parade is Lanarkshire-born 70-year-old cyclist Jock Miller. This model is the hobby horse of 1818. It was originally built for the 6th Duke of Argyle. The cycling cavalcade will take part in the celebrations of the Silver Jubilee of the Transport and General Workers' Union. At Liphook, Hampshire, the year's first big motorcycle race, the Sunbeam point-to-point -point open scramble. The circuit consists of 10 two-mile laps for 50 competitors. The riders travel over sandy heathland and up and down and over the hills. In fact, they do everything but go through the hills. Winner of the race, Ulster's W. Nicholson, riding a BSA. His time was 54 minutes, 42.5 seconds. Twickenham sees the 22nd England-France rugby match, the decider for the international championships. England were pressing hard all the time, and their reward came when, in a 50-yard sprint, Waterloo's RH guest scored try number one. From a wide angle, skipper Jack Heaton tried to convert, but the kick went wide. The speedy French were well tackled by the English backs. France drew level with a 45 yards drop kick scored by Pra. The final score, a 6-3 England win. At Leeds, Yorkshire cricketer Herbert Sutcliffe, left, is there for the National Boys Club boxing finals. Also present, Jimmy Wilde, ex-world flyweight champion. We spotlight the under 10 stone buff. Black-vested Ernie Davis of Bromsgrove, Worcester, is slugging it out with London's Ken Ernst. In a hard-hitting round, young Davis scores with hits to face and body. The 17-year-old youngsters are mixing it like future champs. The referee awarded a points victory to Ernie Davis. Epsom puts on its first race meeting of the year. Here is the great metropolitan handicap as the horses come round Tattenham Corner. Nineteen horses ran in the two and a quarter mile race. Nearing the finish, seven-year-old Star Song takes the lead, followed by Pahelian and Salubrious. And that's the way it stayed till the end. With jockey D. Smith up, Star Song passes the post with Parhelion second and Salubrious third. Star Song runs away with the first Epsom victory. <laughs>